My name is Ayman Frika, Field Software Engineer at Canonical. I'm going to show you today a short live demo of Kubeflow. Kubeflow is an AI platform that enables data scientists to develop and deploy machine learning algorithms and workflows. Because it's designed to run on top of Kubernetes, Kubeflow can run everywhere Kubernetes is deployed. Kubeflow is suitable for all use cases depending on your AI journey. If you want to start developing your AI algorithm locally, you can use Kubeflow on your local machine. If you want to use your secure company data to train your AI model, you can run it on your company private cloud. If you want to use specific resources that you don't have on-prem like powerful GPUs, you can still use it on public cloud like AWS, GCP, or Azure. The on-prem Kubeflow infrastructure is also compatible with the public cloud one and it allows us to deploy and train your, our model everywhere without changing anything. Canonical provides enterprise support for Kubeflow as well as training workshop in collaboration with its partners. Kubeflow has multiple components. For example, Argo for managing machine learning workflows. It's mostly used for Kubeflow pipelines, which are usable end-to-end -end machine learning workflows built using the Kubeflow Pipelines SDK. By pipeline, all the machine learning life cycles, such as data preprocess, model training, and model serving can be managed and reused. Kubeflow JupyterHub to create JupyterHub notebooks that are essential to start your AI journey and develop your algorithms. It can also be used for interactive training. Catlib, which allows you to do hyperparameter tuning and find the right configuration for your AI algorithm to get the best results from it. PyTorch, which is an operator for running PyTorch jobs. Sheldon Core for running complex model deployments and non tensorflow serving. TensorFlow operator for training TensorFlow models and serving them. In our demo today, we will show you a Kubeflow platform which is deployed on a non on a charm of Kubernetes. Those two platforms are deployed using Juju as the orchestration tool on top of AWS Cloud. Let's take a look at the demo. Juju has a graphical user interface available to help with the task of managing and monitoring your Juju environment. Every environment built by Juju is built through charms. Juju makes it very easy for administrators to manage platforms, not only because it provides a standard way to manage Kubernetes workloads as well as non-Kubernetes workloads, but also because it uses a charm intelligence to execute needed operation on all services, even if you are not an expert. Basically, a charm is a set of scripts that allows you to describe the whole life cycle of an application. It contains all the logic to deploy, configure, scale up uh, and down, tear down the application. It also makes it very easy to integrate with other applications through charm functionality called relations. So, if you want to add new worker node, for example, here is how, how to do it, like adding a new event, confirm the changes, and commit. And we can see there is a new unit that is added to our environment. Here we go. So, Let's get back to the environment and talk about it. So this is an example of a Juju environment that is built through the charm. It is a Kubernetes with all its components. And because it's charm distribution, you can also benefit from the latest upstream Kubernetes version as soon as they are available using the upgrade functionality of the charm. So we can here configure the uh, this is the uh, Kubernetes master charm. And you can configure the source of, uh, of, the, uh, of the service. 
just change it and you can have uh, and Kubernetes will be upgraded. This the sham distribution of Kubernetes is secure. It uses TLS to secure all the API endpoints of Kubernetes services. In addition to that, it provides multiple security layer of your workloads. As you said, Kubeflow is also deployed with uh, with Chuchu, and you can access uh, the Kubeflow environment like this. <laughs> where we can see all the Kubeflow components which are deployed by Juju. We believe that Juju is the simplest way to manage a multi-container workload on Kubernetes. It also gives you a standard way to manage and operate all your environments, whether they are on virtual machines, container, or bare metal. Let's have a look to the main Kubeflow dashboard. From the main Kubeflow dashboard, we can access the main Kubeflow component, which are Kubeflow pipelines, uh, JupyterHub notebook servers, and CATIP. Uh, also, Kubeflow uses the concept of project. Each user has its own project and can add new contributors to this project through Manage Contributor tab. Let's add new contributor to our project. For example. Here it is, we have added new contributor to our project. Users can easily create JupyterHub notebooks through the Kubeflow dashboard UI. Uh, to be able to do so, we can access it through the notebook servers tab. Uh, now we have already a notebook already created, but we can create a new one. First notebook specify the uh, the image uh, for the uh, jupyter notebook and you can specify the cpu and memory allocated to it then we launch it so uh, without waiting for for the new one to be created we can connect to the old one here we have a jupyter hub notebook dashboard uh, where we can uh, create a, our new project but also we can access the terminal for the notebook and for example uh, download a new library if you want to uh, create a new project for example with PyTorch we can install uh, the Torch library there it is very simple so we can also uh, create new pipelines through the pipeline uh, tab. Let's execute, for example, the conditional execution example for a pipeline that show us uh, an example of uh, a pipeline with conditions. Like for example, here, if the flip coin output meet a certain condition here it will generate the execution of the, uh, the following steps so let's create this run and start it so the the spi this pipeline is started by First of all, downloading the uh, the image for this container, and this container, uh, we, we can see that the step uh, provides the output heads that uh, execute or generate uh, the the running of this step. We generate a random number, which is four, uh, and which also generate the execution of this uh, this container this is fairly simple example uh, that shows uh, how the pipeline in kubeflow works 
that's all for our demo today. Thank you very much for joining our booth. Uh, please let us know if you have any question regarding this demo or any canonical product. Thank you very much.